Good afternoon, friends. I hope everybody had a wonderful morning, and I'm so excited to read you another story today. Um, I also have a craft that I'm going to show you how to do um, that you can do at home as well. But first, we're going to read the book. It's called Because a Little Bug Went to Chew, and it's by Rosetta Stone and illustrated by Michael Frith. Let's get started. You may not believe it, but here's how it happened. One fine summer morning, there's a little bug. A little bug sneezed. ka -choo! Because of that sneeze, a little seed dropped. See the little seed right here? And look at that big sneeze coming out of that tiny little bug. The big one. Because that seed dropped, a worm got hit. Because he got hit, that worm got mad. Look at his face. He doesn't look happy, does he? Oh, I'd be mad too. Because he got mad, he kicked a tree. Look at that little tiny worm kicking that big tree. That probably hurt the worm more than it would do anything to the tree. Because of that kick, a coconut dropped. Because that knot dropped, a, a turtle got bopped. There goes the coconut. And look at that poor turtle. He got hit in the head. Oh, no. Poor turtle. Because he got bopped, that turtle named Jake fell on his back with a splash in the lake. There he goes. Because of that splash, a hen got wet. Because she got wet, that hen got mad. Because she got mad, the hen kicked a bucket. Because of that kick, the bucket went up. She has an angry face too, huh? Just like the turtle and the worm. Because it went up, the bucket came down. It's a pretty good kick for a little hen. Because it came down, it hit Farmer Brown, and that bucket got stuck on his head. Uh-oh, he can't hear or see anything. Well, he might be able to hear, but not well. Because it got stuck, Farmer Brown phoned for help. Wonder who would come in and help with something like that. Look, there's a turtle. The turtle and the hen are both sitting there watching him. Because of his phone call, policemen came speeding. Oh, so he called a policeman for help. Look how fast they're going down that road. Because they were speeding, they hit a big stone. And so one policeman flew up all alone. Look how high he is up in the air. He's going above the cows and above some of the trees. Because he flew up, he had to come down. You see, do you know where he's gonna land? Hmm, I guess we'll see. And because he came down on the boat, Mary Lou, and because he hit hard, he went right through. He made a big hole in the boat, Mary Lou. Uh-oh, look at that big hole. Because of that hole, the boat started to sink. And because it was sinking, well, what do you think? Everyone, everyone started to yelp. And Mrs. Brown called on the phone for more help. Uh-oh, that boat's sinking. Look at how many people are on it. Because of her phone call, more help came fast. They tied a strong rope to the Mary Lou's mast. You see, there's the rope. They're tying it on. What do you think they're going to do with that? And because of that rope, the boat didn't go down, but it had to be fixed, so they started for town. And 
because they went there, it's true, I'm afraid, they ran right into a circus parade. Oh my goodness, look at everything in that parade. We've got some elephants and giraffes and a tiger and some balloons up there. And that started something they'll never forget. And as far as I know, it is going on yet. That parade is still happening. Look at that. And that's how it happened. Believe me, it's true. Because, just because, a small bog went to two. That teeny tiny bug caused all of that. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that story. And now I'm going to show you a craft you can do. It is, we're going to make a, a coffee filter butterfly. And so for this, you're going to need coffee filters, markers, um, some clothespins, or a clothespin for each butterfly you're going to make. And you need two coffee filters per butterfly you're going to make. Um, you need some markers and a spray bottle. And it'll take a few minutes to do, it'll take a little bit to do all of it because you have to have some drying time as well. And I don't know where my cup is. Oh, it's on the floor. Okay, sorry about that, friends. <laughs> so um, the first thing you're going to do is take your coffee filters, you need two of them, and color them in with your markers. And you can color it however you want. You can make any shapes that you want. You can make any colors that you want. Um, you want to leave a little bit of white space because it'll help make those colors pop. So then what you're going to do after you get this, and make sure you're doing this on either some wax paper or maybe um, like a, a cookie pan, a, a cookie cooking pan, um, or something where it won't get on things you don't want it to get on because it does soak through. Um, so you're going to do that first, and then you're going to lay it on that surface and you're going to spritz it with a little bit of water. Uh, you want to get it just damp. You don't want to soak it. Otherwise, all of the colors will bleed into each other, just like Play-Doh, and they will all turn brown. So um, spritz it just enough to get it damp, and um, you'll see the colors brighten um, as you spritz it. And it looks like I missed a spot there, but that's okay. So, and then you need to let that dry. I just, um, I sat mine out in the sun, and I've also done it where I turned on the oven very, very low and then stuck them in and left the door open and they dried pretty quick. That is something that your parents should do though, not you. Um, and then the next part, you, I think the younger kids might need some help with, but the older kids might be able to do it. So I'm gonna turn my monitor down so you can see. Can you see my work surface here? Perfect. So um, after they're dry, you are going to take them and fold them accordion style. So you're gonna fold one like this and then you'll flip it over and fold it again. And then you're gonna keep doing that until you get it all in uh, one big stack. You know, this will all be together. So I've already done that um, with a couple of mine here. I gotta kinda re-roll it here. But you're gonna do that with both of your butterfly, um, both of your, your coffee filters. So then once that's done, and actually while, while you have your, um, your coffee filters drying, you can do this part. You take your clothespin and you can decorate it however you want. You can use paint. I used marker and then I put a little bit of um, glitter glue on top of it. And once again, this is something I just sat in a window and uh, the sunlight dried it pretty quick. Um, and... After you've done that, you're going to take both of your filters that you already have and you're going to pinch them, you're going to put them together and then pinch them in the middle like this. And then you're going to take your, your um, clothespin, hope you can still see that, and you're going to put it right in, you want it so that they're turned like this, and you're going to put it right in the middle like that. Okay, and then you can spread out what I'm sure you can already tell are your butterfly wings. And I did two different styles here. So the top looks 
the top ones look different than the bottom, and that's fine. This is your art. You do it however you like. So that's what it ends up looking like there. And then, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, one of the other supplies you need is pipe cleaners. So you're going to take a whole pipe cleaner, and you're going to cut it into two pieces. And then you can put one piece aside. You won't need it unless you're doing multiple butterflies. So then you're going to take your pipe cleaner and fold it in half like so. And these are going to be the antenna. So you will all carefully open this because you want everything to stay in, but you open that um, clothespin a little bit and then you can either leave them straight like that. Um, you can cut them and make them shorter or you could curl them and make them a little different. Uh, however you want to decorate your butterfly is up to you. There is no wrong way to do this. But there you have it. That's how you make a coffee filter and clothespin butterfly. Um, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the story and uh, making the butterfly. And I hope to see you all.